five on your health. Experiencing that solar eclipse this Monday without damaging your eyes. Here with advice is Dr. Elizabeth Rawson, a retina specialist at Mass Eye and Ear. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. It will not be a total eclipse around here, but pretty close. Mm -hmm. Should you make a plan if you want to watch it? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, it's it's going to be beautiful, but the thing is it can really damage the back of your eye. So even though it's not a total eclipse, it's still just as strong. And you should wear proper protection. There's uh, special ISO approved glasses that you can wear, and you should absolutely be wearing them if you're going to watch the eclipse. Is it safe for kids to watch the eclipse? You know, different eyes and do they need different glasses? Yeah, so that's a great question. They're, they don't necessarily have different eyes, but it's hard to keep glasses on kids. And so my suggestion is that if you're going to watch with a kid, they should be able to follow instructions, keep the glasses on. If you have a very small child who's really just going to be taking the glasses off and not following instructions, I would say keep them at home and, and save it for another time. Well, let's say maybe you forgot your glasses. How long is too long to look at the sun, even when the moon is mostly blocking the rays? There really is no safe amount of time. You know, the sun, what it can do, even for a really short period of time, it can burn a hole in the back of your eye. The retina is really sensitive to light. So there is no safe amount of time. If you don't have those glasses on, then I would say just uh, watch a video of it or use yeah. a, a special pinhole box and you can look up on the internet how to make that where you don't look directly at the sun. We certainly will have plenty of coverage here on Channel 5. I guess a lot of people have a question too. You think that the moon is going to be blocking the sun. What exactly is it about the rays that are getting through? Like what is the science behind how it damages your eye? It's a, it's a great question. So really any staring at the sun can hurt your eyes, not just an eclipse. It's just that with an eclipse, we tend to look at it more. And so what happens is that the retina in the back of your eye is really sensitive to light and the vision sensing cells back there can be burned by the light and, and basically leave a hole right in the center of your vision. That cannot be good. Thank you so much for the warning. Dr. Elizabeth Rawson, a retina specialist at Mass Eye and Ear. Um, enjoy the eclipse safely. I know you will. And thanks for joining us this Saturday. Thank you for having me.